Hello my friends, it's Oga the Geek here, and for this review we're going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse McFarlane Collector Edition Clock King. And man, look at this Clock King. Isn't he amazing? I don't know too much about this version of the Clock King. The only Clock King I've been exposed to is the one from Batman the Animated Series. That's, that guy was called the Clock King as well, right? Loved the first episode he was in, then I loved that time travel episode he did when he was slowing down time, I believe, if, if memory serves, but that's a version I'm familiar with. I am not familiar with this version at all, but I just loved the look of this figure. It's just crazy Silver Age goodness right here, and look at that. There's the training card. There's his clock accessory, clock hands accessory, and then there's the figure, but yeah, just I just love this kind of stuff. I love this more off-color C-list, D-list character selection that we're getting now from McFarland Toys. I think it's amazing. So anyways, without further ado, let's get him out of the box and take a closer look. All right, my friends. So here is Clock King outside of the packaging. Here are his accessories, these clock hands that he can strike down his opponents with. The long hand and a short hand. Look at that. There's your training card. Man, I love this training card artwork. Looks like the 70s style. Just really lovely artwork the whole aesthetic of it is, is beautiful there's the bio on the back if you're interested in learning more about the clock king and then there is the figure itself again just love this guy so much it's so goofy look at this he's got a big clock on his head you know is that his mouth right there i don't know ah so great so great and look it looks like a big ring on his head and you even get a wired cape look at that guys look at that look at that beautiful wired cape and it's a pretty big cape too so, yeah, uh, this is just a fun, fun figure. Look, look at him. Great range of motion here. There's the toe. Head moves up and down pretty well. There's even a platinum version of this where I think he looks angrier. But I think I'm okay with this. I don't need two versions of Clock King. I'm very happy with just the one version. Love that cape there. But, yeah, uh, again, don't know really anything about this character except that he looks awesome. Look, he's got, a, he's got his watch on right there. Look at that. There's the, the belt. There's so much fun. He's got two watches on. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Oh, man. But, yeah, this is fun. This is <laughs> this is just a fun figure. So, there he is. There's the clocking. Um, let's see how he looks next to a few other McFarlane figures. All right. So, there's the clock king next to good old Hush Batman and the three Jokers. Joker scales very nicely there. And, uh, yeah, there he is. And I even put the hands in this time. For this guy and i'm definitely going to display him like that batman fell over what a tragedy um but yeah look, look at those arms just so much fun this figure there it is there is your look at the clock king are you guys picking this up do you like the the d-list characters as much as i do these more off off the ball off ball oddball characters i want to see much more of this because it's just fun it's just something different you know but uh, there you go. There's your look at Clock King. Thank you so much for watching as always and have a great day.